There's not much of a story here, but I feel compelled to type this anyways. I was looking around on YouTube to see if the AVGN, the angry video game nerd, like I should have mentioned to avoid confusion, had made any new episodes. The only one on the James Nintendo Nerd channel was, Ghosts and Goblins, for whatever reason lately, he's been releasing brand new ones on YouTube as opposed to usually releasing them on game trailers, so I watched it. It was the same kind of funny madness you'd expect to see in a nerd episode, not perfect, but considering that he was working on Monster Madness and putting footage together for the AVG and movie trailer and doing other numerous projects, I'm not complaining, I was just happy to see a new nerd episode again. I was going to type a comment on the video when I saw a person's username entitled, James and Nintendo Nerd, I'm guessing the double N in there was since the original name was taken. The comment read, ET, and that was all, so I clicked on the name out of curiosity. It took me to a channel much like James' channel. There was one video named, AVG and ET Atari 2600. The video had zero views and had been uploaded today. I watched it just to be the first viewer. I really wish I hadn't have done that. What happened next made me regret ever watching the AVGN. First off, there wasn't any kind of theme song whatsoever. The video just started showing James looking at the camera sadly. You all asked for it. He said with a frown. Not the traditional mad frown, just a depressed one. You sick pieces of filth. He continued again with a frown. I was shocked hearing him say that to his audience, not in a funny way. James then pulled out the ET card from its box. The camera cut to him putting the game into the Atari, the only kind of editing I saw remotely in the episode. The game started up without him even turning the system on, and he started to play. As he was playing, I swore I could hear a slight sobbing in the background. It was like he hated the game on a very personal level. For a split second a picture flashed on my computer screen. It was of the nerd bent over crying. I quickly pushed print screen. I still have the pic and I'll show it when I post this. Anyway, James only played the game for about a minute before turning the camera towards him. He had tears in his eyes, not like he was bawling, but enough that you'd notice it on his face. He held up the camera and began walking around his game room like as if we were in an episode of Cops. He then found a hammer, like in his Nintendo World Championships episode, and started to break every single one of his systems and games. All while quietly singing his theme song. After painfully watching him do this, just think of all the money he wasted, he went over to his NES that he had ever since he was a child and broke it into pieces. I was almost about to leave the page when I saw him pick up a gun. It was a real gun, not a zapper or anything else. He cocked it, put to his head, turned the camera towards him, whispered. I'm done. And shot himself. Both James and the camera fell to the ground, and that's where the video ended. I was shocked by what I had seen, I quickly left the channel and went back to the Ghost and Goblins review to forget about the whole event. I looked at the comments section, about 10 minutes later the video was gone. I even checked the James and Nintendo nerd username. The entire account was gone too, so I didn't understand why the latter uploaded it only to take it off along with its account all of a sudden, but now I know why James has never done an ET review, and maybe it's best he never does.